Today we're going to head into Kirkland's. If you can see it back there, it's a rainy, dreary day outside. So it's a perfect day to go into the store and see what new home decor items they have. I haven't been here in over two months, so I hope that they have some new things for us to look at. I have like a wonderful throat sinus thing going on now, so I sound amazing. And I'm sorry for that, but let's go in, go shopping, and see what we can find. I am so excited because they had all new things out, and there were a few pieces that I definitely wanted to take home with me, but I'm going to take you through the store and we can see all the goodies they had out for this month. So right here in this front display, immediately I saw these cute plates and cutting boards, but these are actually plastic, which is good in a way because they're easy to wash and you can use them outside. I could let my kids use them and they wouldn't break. The cutting board was even plastic too, which I did like because it seems like it would be really easy to get off like cheese and cracker crumbs if you used it for guests coming over and that one was $20. It's so nice to get inspiration from the displays they have out. I always love the displays in any store I go into. It helps get my creativity going and see how I can pair items together. I liked this picture up here. It was $50, but they were having a lot of sales in my store. I loved this. I almost bought it, but I wasn't sure I had a spot for it. It is a beautiful camel color for $130. They also have a gray one that you'll see in a little bit. Bringing in some leather tones like that are always inviting and cozy, and I love that that one has storage in it as well. These candles were so adorable, beautiful spring colors for about $10. And we're heading over to this next little display. I liked this pillow. It was a beautiful neutral color, but the pattern added some dimension. Most of their pillows are between $30 and $40. I saw these end tables. These were new for my store. This coffee table down here is $400, and then the smaller one on top is 200 Now most of Kirkland's furniture is on the expensive side and I do have more pieces to show you in just a little bit so just keep that in mind but if you're looking to get a high quality item this is a good place to look. If you're new to my channel I'm so glad you're here and I promise my voice isn't this raspy normally. I don't know what's going on. It's been a week. I've been dealing with like wonderful sinus stuff. I guess it's that time of year. But I promise hopefully I will get better soon and my voice won't sound this. I don't even know what it is at this point, <laughs> but let's keep going. I found some beautiful pictures. That one right there did not have a frame. And I went to Hobby Lobby recently too, and I saw a few without frames too. So I don't know if that's a trend we're gonna start seeing or what. This pillow I loved with the tassels on the sides. I thought it was so cute. They had some really good candles out, just really pretty colors. I smelled them. They all smelled really good, but they weren't overpowering. I loved this picture. It was $90. You know, it was 25% off, but it was a really nice linen texture. And I just love like abstract, the line art. I just think it's so creative. All right, we have more of the furniture pieces. So this one right there was 500. I loved these blankets. Get your hands on these. They were super soft. They came in a variety of colors for $35. This cabinet down here was 600. I had to touch it and that was metal in there. So definitely a unique design with the metal and the wood together. This one is 800. It's more like a console table and it was really beautiful and very sturdy in person, a nice size. I love console tables that have storage with the drawers right there and the cabinets down below. 
I always like to see how they style these things. This plant was 60. It was very well put together and I think that the greenery up there looked realistic. I really liked the tray with those decorative balls on top too. I liked this picture. I thought it was so cute. $30. It says a walk in the woods is good for the soul and it was just very peaceful and calming, a nice neutral color for any house. I saw this one lone little vase with plant in it. It was $55. It was a nice, beautiful cream tan color and it was glossy, but that was really cute and I guess everyone loved them because they were all gone. There's a few more vases up here as well. Coming over here, I saw this tray for $30. Rattan, Wicker, I have seen so many of those trays out lately at various stores. And honestly, I love them. Perfect for a kitchen counter to put a vase with flowers in or a candle. This art print up here was really pretty. This one was $80. Again, it was on sale. Just something unique. You could DIY something like that if you are into that. I always love to think how I can DIY projects. As always, I will link to whatever I can in the description below. I have some surprises coming, some dupes of other stores coming in just a little bit. I am excited for those. This print right here was $30, a very pretty blue color. I always think of a bathroom when I see pictures like that. Just the nice little floral or leaf prints and a smaller size. Here is the gray version of that ottoman. So if you didn't like the other color, this would be an option. They were both like the leather material and they were both gorgeous. This lumber pillow was a nice, beautiful color. This bowl, it was very lightweight, $35. Fruit would look great in that on a counter. I saw these decorative balls over here, kind of different from what we normally see, and I liked that they had a modern twist to them. This basket was adorable. I loved it. $35 for this. It was on sale at the time, so just keep an eye out for those sales. I'm trying to show you on the tags both sides in case you want to try to look up the item online if I can't link it. They had a few different sizes of these tables, black and glass. It's always a classic staple. The bigger one right here was $300. It was a console table for like a front entryway and they had more of a coffee table there too. This chair and coffee table were both for outside. I loved this coffee table. It was $250. If I had any idea what we were doing on our back patio, I would have snatched this up. It seemed like good quality. I don't know a lot about outdoor furniture, but Kirkland's did have quite a few pieces out this time and I just loved all of it. It was just gorgeous. $300 for this chair right there. This whole section right here is all outdoor things. So outdoor pillows, planters, the furniture, they had a lot of cute items out. This pillow right here was $35, so around the same price point as the regular pillows. I loved these planners. They were adorable. They were beautiful green color. This one was 60. It was really solid and it did have the hole in the bottom so you could put a real plant in there. That was a little end table right there to put outside. I loved the design of this black planter. It did have a hole in the bottom, but that would look great on a front porch or even a back patio. I cannot wait for the warm summer nights, enjoying outside. All right, this little lantern was $50. It was cement and it says it lights up. That would be so cute on a table on a patio. 
$40 for this terracotta bowl. It was definitely heavy. Some fruit in there on a counter would look amazing. I love those rope handles. $35 for these lanterns up here. I wonder if they have more colors online, but those would be really great to have outside when you need some extra light. These end tables, I mean, these are so popular. They've been around for a while, but these ones were $70. It says they light up, so maybe they light up inside. They had these ones and we'll see like a white creamy one in just a minute as well. There were these beautiful wood and black planters. These are adorable. They don't have the hole in them, but this smaller one, which was still a good size, that was 100 and then the larger one was 150. If you saw the last Kirkland's video that I did like maybe two months ago, that vase down there as well as some other ones from that collection were in that video. That one was 100 and I love that style. Some really big stems coming out of there would look gorgeous. This art piece would look great in a kid's bedroom, 130 but it was on sale for 100 these pictures are in sets of two. They are $15. I love these. They would be great on a bathroom shelf. I love little pictures like this for bathrooms or smaller spaces. Here we have a beautiful berry bush with white flowers and greenery for $35. The vase is neutral, it is glossy, and has a nice texture to it. Those are gorgeous. Here is that like creamy white version and these are metal, so just keep that in mind. I kind of feel like that kid whose mom says, don't touch that whenever I touch something, but it just helps me remember to tell you something important about the item. I like these little moss balls, $20 for a bag. And then they had these games. I love like the neutral colors, but you could display these and have them out so that you can have fun with your family. One of my favorite things to do with my kids is play games. So I thought those were awesome. Hearth and Hand has similar ones at Target too. These wreaths over here I thought were gorgeous. Perfect for a front door for spring and summer. They just look so realistic. $60. You can check and make sure if they're on sale at your store, but I love all of these. $20 for the little greenery down there with the rope attached to it. Look at how stunning these tulip wreaths are. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Those are amazing and would look so inviting for your guest when they enter your home. This little plant right here, I think those leaves look very realistic and I like the texture on the vase as well. $25 for that, I think that's a great idea. I have something similar to that in my front entryway on my console table. I love this picture right here, $30. The colors are just warm and inviting. And now that I look at it, I wanna go back and get it, but I need to figure out a spot for it first. <laughs> Coming over here is this basket for $45. I love like the green handles that it has and this bag of lemons. I think those look realistic. I would probably actually mistake those for a real lemon, but just on your counter or a side table would look great with those lemons. If you've seen any of my other videos, I always check out the pillow section. I loved this one, kind of a muted green-blue color. 
it was $30 that would look great on a couch or I have like a big oversized chair that would look good on it. I think I'm getting the itch to change out some of my pillows. I just need to decide what direction I want to go. I have been in a bad habit in the past of just buying a pillow here or there but then in the end they don't really go together and it looks all crazy. This throw I thought was gorgeous. I mean just neutral with the tassels. It was $35 draped over the back of a couch that would look amazing. They had this display set up and it looked so cozy. This chair right here, I know these have been so popular. This one was 600. I'm not sure I could pull the trigger on spending that much, but it was gorgeous and very sturdy too. I loved this rug that they had on display here. It has pops of color, but if you can see, it's still pretty neutral. I'm almost tempted to get that for my living room. This display was awesome. I have not seen a cutting board like this. This one was $50, I'm trying to show you in the back but it was 25% off at the time, but how unique. I love the design of that. These cups are all the rage. I liked the black mixed with the neutral, $8 for one of those. This tray is gorgeous, $35 for that. It wasn't like super heavy or sturdy, but still gorgeous to have on display at a counter. Oh, I loved this. This console table was amazing. If I had 600 extra dollars just laying around, I probably would have picked this up and put it in my front entryway. I love the black, the cane, the gold. It was just beautiful and the legs had little gold rings on them too. I just don't have the extra money to spend on that right now. I also loved this cutting board. The chevron design with the gold on it was adorable. $40 for that one. Again, some of these things are on sale, so you just have to keep an eye out. It seemed like they had a lot of sales going on, more so than normal. These containers on display were new. I love that they have like a creamy and a gray. They were $25. They were heavy to pick up, but I did manage to lift one up for you. But I would put my coffee grounds in there. I love storing coffee in those kind of canisters. This picture right here was $80. And I loved just the neutral colors, but it still has a subtle pop of color in it too. They had quite a few rugs out on display. I thought this one was unique, more of a modern vibe to it. The 5x7 is $200 and this one right here is the 5x7 but you can see they do have a few other sizes as well. This table runner was gorgeous, just neutral, a cream and a tan mixed together and this one was $25. They had some black and gold measuring cups to choose from, $13 for each set of those. I like using those more than plastic ones. They're just sturdy, easy to wash, and I don't know. I think I read somewhere that metal was better, so I have used metal ones for a while now. Coming over here to the dish display. I loved this little table they had out. It was so spring and summer. I am so excited to see all of this stuff out. This picture right here was a beautiful like blue gray and it was $25. It was definitely solid and sturdy. I know Hearth and Hand at Target has similar ones to that as well. Here are some new canisters that they had out, flower, coffee. I loved this coffee mug, how adorable. $8 for that, I love the two-tone and it was a really good size. This with the leather strap is so adorable. $17, so many uses for that, utensil holder or a vase or if you just need to store something in there too, I liked those because of the leather. 
I thought this would be good on a coffee bar to store some coffee mugs and like little things of sugar. It was $60. These lamps up here are 100 each. I would say, I mean, that's a little bit more than Target, but I have seen lamps at like at home for 100 as well. But I love the texture on that. Look what I found over here. I couldn't believe it. I usually never go in this section, and this is an amazing anthropology dupe. So this larger one, is $130 and it looks like you can actually get it shipped to your home, which is great. They had this round one in my store, which was a really good size, $170 and it was a 36 by 36, which is a very generous size. So both of those were amazing. I will link them in the description below because I know you will want to check them out. This abstract art was $80. Again, it was 25% off when I was recording this, so hopefully you can still find some of these great pieces at good prices too. Coming right over here, I want you to see this blanket. That was the Chanel one that I showed you earlier that was $35, and it just looks so pretty there. These tables right here were actually a set of three together. So a console table and two side tables, normally $600 on clearance for 300. So that was a good find back there. I love looking at Kirkland's art pieces. This map one down here would look perfect in an office. It was 150 up close. It has some nice lines and dimension to it. I thought that one was gorgeous. Abstract art is one of my favorites. The long one right here for 130, that would look great over a bed. I always look for that size over a bed. It just fits perfectly. Back here was a set of three, $90, it was 25% off, but that would look great in a hallway, just having a few pictures together like that. Over here we had some of the smaller pictures. If you need some filler spaces or you wanna create a gallery wall, most of these were $30 with a few of the smaller ones being 15. The picture on the left right there was $30. It was blue in person, I don't know if you can tell. And the one next to it was 20. This bigger canvas on the bottom was 50, also on sale though. I loved the one on the left right there, I just thought it was so pretty. I was completely surprised to see this picture. This one is $70. They had a few variations and it is a dupe of a William Sonoma picture that retails for a set of two for $1,700. Now the William Sonoma one is bigger, but that picture is actually something that I have been wanting to DIY. I couldn't believe it. I've been wanting something like that for my bedroom. I was so surprised to see someone finally recreated that one at a lower price. Okay. 
these baskets right here are adorable, perfect for toy storage or blankets in your living room. They could also double up as a hamper in a bedroom. The smallest one was 40, the next size up was 60. I spotted this light fixture as I was on my way out. Normally $300, it's on sale right now for $225. All right, that was fun. Everything was almost brand new. I was so excited to see all the new goodies. I really wanted to buy that camel colored storage ottoman, the leather one. Oh, I loved that. I could put it next to my fireplace, but I wanna make sure that I'm 100% positive I'm really trying to be more intentional with my purchases instead of just being like, oh, I love this. Let me buy it. I'm trying to be more, I love this, but where can I put it? Where do I want it to go? And also like give it a day or two to really sink in because sometimes I just buy things because oh, I love it and it's there and what if it's gone in a day or two? But I really want to make sure that what I'm buying is something that I love and that I will use and keep around for a long time. I also really wanted that art print. I've been wanting that for a few years now. So that's also something, I actually wanted that piece for my master bedroom when we moved into our current house. So I don't know, I'll have to think about it. But that was fun and it got me out of the house on this rainy day. And now I need to go pick up my daughter from preschool. There's a Panera behind me and I'm tempted to go grab something really quick. But I will see you back here soon and I hope that you have a wonderful day and that it's nice and sunny where you are.